Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Well, I'm at the campus of Palm Beach Atlantic University. It's an outstanding school over in West Palm Beach, Florida. And I had an opportunity yesterday to speak at chapel here and, uh, uh, and do a couple of classes too. So big shout out to the students there and big shout out to the faculty who welcomed me so graciously. But when I spoke in chapel, I spoke about science and faith because that's kind of where my thoughts are this week in my video thoughts for the day, and I thought that I would share that. Uh, I had three main points, some of which we've already covered this week, but some of which are new for this video thought for the day. But I wanted to talk about the rules of science, I wanted to talk about uh, uh, the role of science, and then my third point was the result of science. And let me give it to you in a nutshell. The rules of science, are good old-fashioned consistent rules that, as Paul said in Romans 1, reflect the divine nature of God uh, that, that we see in the world around us, God's essence. Uh, that, that means that we can see within this world consistency. We can see within this world things that are the same yesterday as today as tomorrow. You know, you never have to worry about whether the sun's going to accidentally rise from the west tomorrow. The sun is always rising in the east. That's the consistency of nature. And that's the, the expression of the consistency of God we see in nature. So the rules of nature are rules that God set up. Natural law is the law that God has established. And of course, they reflect his character. But then I also talked about not just the rules of science, but the roles of science. And this is what I was talking about some yesterday, that science is this tool that we've been given to try to help us combat the evils in this world. If you think about it, we, we've got problems of disease, uh, we've got problems of despair, we've got problems of hunger, we've got uh, problems of, of so many different things where we can take science and technology and help address those. We can, can think, think even about uh, uh, mowing a yard for somebody. When you mow a yard, you're using a lawnmower that's a result of technology and engineering and, and science and all sorts of things. It touches all areas of our life. If you're watching this on the internet, you're watching this on science. Science can be used for many different purposes. And so the role of science in our life should be to make our life better, not to make it worse. And then that third subject I talked about yesterday was the result of science. Uh, uh, and this is where we focus in even more so on how are we addressing the issues around us. You know, we live in an era where people are using science to make weapons of war. and yet we can also use that same science to make weapons of peace. We need to recognize within science that our responsibility is to see that, that God's goodness and his kingdom is reflected on earth, just as it is in heaven. As the Lord's Prayer says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is our responsibility and our opportunity to try to make this world a better place through the use of science. So here's my challenge for you before we finish these thoughts the last couple of days this week. My challenge to you is this, figure out how you can use technology and science to bless someone today. That might mean taking your car and, and taking something to someone or using the postal system or better yet the computer to email a word of encouragement to someone. Use all of, of the opportunities in front of you to bless people, but specifically today, take some technology and use it for the good of the Lord. This is Mark Lanier and that's your video thought for the day. God bless you.